In a recent issue of the Saturday Evening Post, there is an article entitled Renegade in the Courtroom. It goes on to say, luck, talent, and a go-go drive have turned a cocky ex-Marine into a top criminal lawyer whom clients swear by and opponents swear at. They're describing our guest whom you see now, F. Lee Bailey. Uh, your name is F. Lee Bailey. What does the F stand for? <clears throat> Would you believe, uh, Francis? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they say that people who use the initial first are people in possession of fantastic egos. Is that right? Do you think that would apply to you? I don't think I could exist in this business without a fantastic ego, but to disappoint your slogan, I am a junior, and my father took the name Francis. Did you once drive a car that uh, had the license plate which spelled out trial on the plate? Yes, I did. Uh, I did. That's New Hampshire of, plates. Kind of flamboyant, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, that was a little bit juvenile, I suppose. In fact, it's almost advertising, which you're not supposed to do. Is that right? Well, the Bar Association uh, never got after me for that, but uh, the state of New Hampshire did take the plate away because I uh, moved out of that state. By request? No, no. I uh, had some real estate up there, and I sold it. That's called moving out. I see. I would like to ask you about some of your, uh, your trickery, and I say that in the kindest sense, uh, Concerning the FBI, is it true that you uh, misled the FBI on one occasion that involved crossing the Canadian border? Yes, I uh, did mislead the FBI. Uh, they set up a tap on my telephone. And to penalize them for that infringement, which was illegal, I called someone and surreptitiously suggested uh, that we were going to carry a large amount of money into Canada. And I rented an airplane. At that time, I didn't own any. And put a big cardboard box in it and flew it up to Montreal. And I taped a piece of thread across the door. And lo and behold, when I came back to the airplane, the thread was broken. Any uh, further noise from the FBI? No. The nice thing about the FBI stepping over the line into illegality is that if you uh, <clears throat> turn them around a little bit, they can't complain about it. How are you so certain that they didn't merely call the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and have them break the cord? Because precisely at the time of takeoff, at a dirt field, three of their cars showed up. This wasn't the FBI, this was the postal inspectors, which is kind of the same thing, only they're not quite as intelligent. How were you able to... <laughs> how, were, how were you able to identify a, a tap being on your telephone? Did you call in electronic experts? No, there isn't really any way to identify taps, but if every time you make a meeting with a client on some street corner, uh, you find that the three federal officials are waiting for you, begin to get a suspicion in the corner of your mind. 